They move slowly, with lifeless eyes and razor teeth, monsters of scary movies and bad dreams. Most people would do anything to stay away from them. But there are those tourists who come to the Bahamas not just for the white beaches or the vast palette of tropical colors both above and under the water. They come to face one of mankind's oldest fears, sharks. When you see a, an animal that large and with teeth like that, you're going to have some respect for it. Respect for something just a little higher on the food chain than us. That's what Stuart Cove has taught for 15 years. It's just an instinct that's deeply ingrained in all of us, that sharks are terrible creatures. They jump in the water, you're liable to get eaten. Cove has taken 100,000 divers, where legend has it, no one is supposed to survive, into the middle of a shark feeding frenzy. And for those willing to pay $1,500, he'll teach the truly brave, you might think the truly foolish, how to control that feeding frenzy. We're going to be saturated on the bottom. You've got hold of the bait box. This strap will keep the bait box closed. If the sharks get very intense and they're coming around the bang around, you'll actually put your hand on top of here. Is that what's happened to the strap? Yeah, it's the sharks the biting sharks? them, yeah. We have to change the sharks. This actual one has only done a couple dives, but you're going to so find the them. the sharks will go after the strap, but you're saying they won't go after me. Well, they're going to be snapping at everything. So if they okay. do bite you, you have these chain mail gloves on, but it okay. makes it kind of awkward. We'll wear these under our suit. Now this is about the same size jaws some of the sharks will be diving with. Really? And what these sharks how long, do, how long would that shark be? It's probably an eight and nine footer. Okay. And you can see they have many, many rows of teeth. And what the sharks do when they, they bite down on you with a you know substantial pressure, which you'll feel when they bite your arms, but then they wait, start wait, to wait, tear. Wait, back up for a second. <laughs> which I will feel when they bite my arms. Yeah, well what happens Not, is you might feel if they happen to bite your arms. I, I think they're gonna bite your arms. Cove wasn't always so cavalier about sharks. He says he tried to train them for Hollywood movies like Never Say Never Again before he really understood them. That was terrifying because, you know, you'd be, the shark would be swimming around you trying to make it do what it's supposed to do and Bond's supposed to do this, and they'll be snapping at you the whole time. So, you know, that's one of the reasons I was so frightened of sharks. But now Cove says he understands how the sharks think and how to better control them. His final words of advice? The only time ever that you're going to punch a shark is if it's harassing you a lot. Just punch it real hard in its snout with your fist. Okay, if that doesn't work, poke the shark in its eye with your stump. That's a joke. Okay, that's a joke. Everybody lighten up, okay? Have a sense of humor. Then, with special underwater radio gear that allows us to talk to each other, we jump into a group of about 20 sharks. Once the food supply runs out, the sharks fade away into the blue, and the other creatures of the reef come out to see what all the fuss is about. All too soon, it's over. Man, I've never felt more like a McDonald's Happy Meal in my life. That was amazing. 